Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Lane Finds. I have quite a bit to show you today. My hair is uh, uncontrollably big right now. The humidity is about a million percent. <laughs> it's rainy and it's very humid, so I'm trying to keep it contained. Uh, it was raining pretty hard last night, and before it did, I managed to go out and find a sprinkle of items. Um, you see what I did there? Uh, that were kind of just loose in the lane. The first thing I found, and this will be really handy, is this nice uh, puffy jacket. It's got a hood, some great pockets. Um, Tokyo Laundry, it's a size large, so that will really come in handy for my uh, pickup on Saturday. Somebody's gonna really love that jacket. That was just at the bus stop. There was somebody standing next to the bus stop and I asked them if it was theirs and they said no, so I picked it up and kept it from getting wet. This is kind of amazing. Little uh, Gucci bag. Uh, it's 100% authentic. I have vetted it. There's that. And then there's also an actual tag at the side, which I don't know if you can see, but yeah. So that was a cool little find, cross body bag. It's uh, a little bit worn out, but I'll take it, and especially like a beautiful neutral color for this time of year. Um, should I go to individual things or I'll do the bag. So this is the bag of things that I collected last night. This is from Sh Shane Shen. It's a skirt, but there's like a seam in the middle. I tried it on, it's like loose flowy pants. I'm gonna keep this because it's actually really good to have for work because I always dress in black for work. Um, this dress is so cute. I love the fabric. Look at that, isn't that cute? So even though it's out of season, it's going to go to the donation. Um, crop, crop top. Maybe somebody going on vacation will use that. Uh, these Banana Republic, uh, I think probably a short length. Nice pant. This is another crop top. It's a very strange texture. Also from Shane, Shen, however you say that. Super crop. It looks like a, it's a bit disstylish. This I took a bit of time to try to figure out what it is. I'm still not sure what it is. I think it's a shirt. Not sure. Don't know how it goes. Whoever buys it, hopefully they will know how it goes. Yeah, I think it is a shirt. Like I said, I have no idea how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I could sit here for a while and still really not know. <laughs> anyway, super cute. Uh, let's get on to the individual item. These are just plain black dress pants. They're actually really nice. Um, I'm going to keep them just in case I ever end up in a restaurant job again. Uh, a pair of diesel jeans. There's a giant hole in the front, but they're really nice jeans and they can be mended very easily. I love this. So I'm gonna save the thing that I love for last. Um, this, I guess like vacation shirt for a dude. The fabric is so wild, it's amazing actually. And it's like, I think it's a golf shirt. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, somebody will really enjoy that. This is the thing that I love. So this is from Zara. So good, right? Wonderful beige jean jacket. And okay, for the winner, so let me show you what I'm gonna do. So these things are things I already have in my closet, right? This is a jean jacket I showed you a while ago that I found like just laying on a shrub in the greenery behind me. I'm gonna cut this out and sew it to the back of this jean jacket and put this into regular rotation. And the remnants of this jean jacket, I'm gonna to use to extend this 
crop top sweater. Cool, huh? Yeah, I know. Anyway, that's me. Five minute mark. I'm going to say good day. I hope you're well and I hope you're staying dry if it's raining or cold where you guys are. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I still have my PJs on. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's raining really, really hard. Sorry, I just found something on my floor. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to do a lean find video before uh, my friend Gloria comes to pick up because I found some stuff yesterday uh, before the rain, so I made sure to pick it up and bring it home. Um, this is one bag, so I think this person was like a motocross racer because you know that brand Fox. These are kind of worn out, but they're still in good quality. Uh, hoodie. Really nice warm hoodie for this time of year. Um, a Fox Racing t-shirt to go with the shorts. And another Fox Racing t-shirt that just says Fox. <laughs> it's got some fuzz on it. Uh, a Spock costume, you know? Halloween has passed, but you can never be too prepared for next year. Another hoodie. It's really nice warm stuff. And um, a couple of towels at the bottom. And then I found another pile of stuff. It was just in a, um, a whole big pile. Sometimes when people move out, they, instead of putting things into the dumpster they'll just set them next to the dumpster because they probably turned into their turned in to their landlord their keys and a lot of our uh, garbage bins uh, are locked to prevent people from shuff like rifling through them anyway so there's this building just one block down in the lane who's people have been moving out of like i think two three people moved out of this week so there's been bags and bags and bags of garbage next to the dumpster and then at one point, a homeless guy came and rifled all the bags and then took what he wanted and moved into the parking spot next door. He put it like he like made an apartment in there. It was really great. He had like his bicycle parked. He had a, a chair. He had all of his bags arranged, all of his clothes sorted out. He had a laundry basket and that had a whole bunch of other stuff in it. He was there for like two or three days and then I guess whoever owned the parking spot came back to town and pushed him out. Anyway, he made his way onto another block and he's over there now <laughs> seeking shelter from the rain with all of his stuff, staying away from the downtown east side where the sweeps are happening. So it's just sort of funny to see them move around and just try to survive. Not funny, I'm not laughing at them, it's the irony of it. But he's like, hey, this parking spot's been empty, I'm just gonna take it. There was one summer, I did a photo essay of it. There's always a mattress somewhere, somehow in the lane. And this guy made his way through the West End by sleeping on the mattresses, but he like, he'd sleep flat out face down and he always had his hat like next to him i took so many i have at least a dozen photos of them uh, i should put them together and and uh make a little book it was hilarious his hat was red too so like you knew it was him like the same guy he was like there was changes of clothes but wherever there was a mattress he was just laying flat out face down <laughs> peacefully asleep summertime you can sleep outside here it's really nice anyway onto my find um so when that guy moved out of the gar out of the garbage spot out of the parking spot there were still some garbage bags left behind and last night on my way home from my shoot i stopped and looked and found a pile of clothes that were just about to get soaked in the rain so i gathered them up brought them home here they are so these are adidas sweatpants um, I actually added more bleach because the knee was really bleached and, uh, I didn't want to, anybody who that got a hold of these would probably have just tossed them out, but I kind of love what happened. So now I have an Adidas leisure suit, um, cause I have a couple of Adidas sweaters and I love these pants and I love what I did to them. They look really funky. I can't wait to wear them. 
Um, just a plain, I have them hung up because they were wet, plain black uh, shirt. It's dry now. This is nice, just a, I don't know, cotton t-shirt. And then this Gap um, jean jacket, but kind of like a motorcycle style. It's really cool, kind of boho. I did actually soak this with bleach too, and I'm gonna put it on the floor of the shower when I get showered today and see what it turns out like. So yeah, that's me. Uh, like I said, it's cr it's crazy raining right now, which is kind of nice because we haven't had a lot of rain in a long time. So it's like making the water table get back to normal. I hope you guys are okay. It's early, so I don't have my glasses on, so I'm looking through a soft focus filter. <laughs> Anyway, happy weekend. I hope you're staying dry. And remember, if you're donating, just take it direct to the shelter. Don't worry about going to Value Village. Just go direct and um, make sure it's clean, make sure it's warm, and just make sure that it's something that you want, are sure that you want to give away and that somebody else can use. No bathing suits, no used underwear, no used undergarments like bras or anything weird like that, or clothing that is kind of worn. We don't wanna give that to somebody who doesn't have any. We wanna give them something that's reasonable, that's clean, that they can put on. So on Wednesdays, I'll tell you a little story before I go. I go down and I volunteer at the food bank at Maine and Hastings, it's the downtown east side. It's 321 Maine, it's a co-working space, but in the basement, there's an organization called La Boussole, a French organization I volunteer with so I can go and practice my French. And we do a food bank every uh, Wednesday. And this week, two people showed up. One guy showed up, he had no shoes. He was just walking by, he's like, hey, do you guys have shoes? So we got him a pair of shoes. Could you imagine walking around in the rain in the downtown east side with no shoes? And then another girl came through the line. Uh, we gave her a bag and she didn't have any pants. So we got her some pants. So I know that these stories sound weird and far-fetched, but this is what's happening in the downtown east side. And there's really simple ways you can help that is not politically motivated. These people are just looking to survive. And I personally would love to see them not suffer as much as they do. If we can get them some clothes and we can get them some food and we can help them stay dry, that I think is something that we can give them, especially with the holiday season coming up. Anyway, I've said too much. Um, I'm gonna go. We'll have a good weekend. Bye. Hello, everybody. It is Sunday. Uh, do you recognize this shirt? <laughs> um, I just came back from a graffiti jam. We all got together and traded uh, stuff, which was amazing. Uh, I, of course, had a major find on the way home. It started with a bag of rose petals. Amazing. Yeah, my hair is amazing. I had quite a few people ask me, um, I was shooting at LaSalle last week for, uh, we were all together in a very enclosed space and I had my hair pulled back and they were all like, wow, did you get it streaked? You know, they have many questions like, no, this is, this is it, straight out of the gate. So I guess that really is the truth about why people stare at me on the bus. Anyway, can you see this? It smells divine. They're actual rose petals. So good. I'm not sure why. It was, it was just in a bag, sitting on top of one of the recycling bins, and I went over to look at it, because sometimes I find bags of coffee. I found many bags of coffee. I guess people get a grind they don't like. But this time it was rose petals. So uh, this is a lot. It was bags, like probably four bags, this one like big mega Walmart bag. And then I found this Cactus Club bag uh, and sort of filled it up. But I did find one thing after I left the graffiti jam at the bus stop. This dress was just laying on the ground. So it's like this big, huge, it's, it's actually really pretty and I believe I thought there was a tie no there's not um it's you see that sorry <laughs> I'm doing a very good job so you could just put like a leather belt on it but isn't that beautiful um let me see 
It was soaking wet laying on the ground. It doesn't smell the greatest, I will admit that. The cool thing about finding things on a Sunday is, oh, there's a hole to put like a drawstring in, which is really cool. Is Monday is laundry day. <laughs> so yeah, but that's, I couldn't, I couldn't just leave that on the ground no matter how it smells. It's so beautiful. So I also have three shoots at LaSalle this week. So I am always looking I usually put together outfits way before so that I know like I have things in advance. My closet is divided into denim, my clothes that I have for shoots, and then uh, a little bit of clothing that I have hung up that I've made, some of the stuff that I will probably never sell. And then I have dress pants, uh, dress shirts, dresses, and in between there, I've got a few little miscellaneous things that I kind of like fit in. And then on the shelves, it's, uh, I have two shelves, sweaters. And then the shelf above that is all of the denim that I've made. I've made 18 outfits. If you guys didn't hear, I got hundred pairs of Levi's last summer for a dollar each. And I have constructed 18 outfits. I don't know if I will ever get them on the runway. That's the dream. Anyway, I'm yammering on, it's Sunday. So let's go through this stuff. This is really cool. I don't know where this came from. I think it says Jared Codex? Codex. God is an excuse. Woo, this is gonna be some good stuff. This is a really interesting dress. So I did, um, because there was so much, oh, this is from Le Chateau, do you guys remember them? Uh, because there was so much, I did a brief edit while I was there. It was also starting to rain, so this is kind of cute. Uh, I don't know if I'll keep it. A lot of the stuff I'm gonna be seeing for the first time, uh, but I, like I say, I did a quick edit. Um, the Walmart bag was there and there was two other garbage bags in there along with clothes in the Walmart bag. So I just quickly uh, pulled stuff out that I knew I wasn't gonna ever use. I put it on the top of the bin and used one of those garbage bags that was in the Walmart bag to like repack it. So hopefully somebody else will come along and get that stuff. This is a Calvin Klein dress. I thought it would be really cool to shoot in. Black, right? That's always, that's always the thing. Plain t-shirt. I don't even know what brand it is, but really nice. These are, I liked these pants. They are Old Navy, but I mean like old dad pants are in right now. I'm gonna try those on. This is Adidas. This is so cute. I love that. That's perfect for the gym. I've been going to the gym because I got to, I got a pass. This dress is chaps. It's a little wrap dress. It's hard to show you, but I think you get the picture. Um, yeah, that's kind of cute. Oh, and these are pajamas. So these little shorts and then a top. So this uh, first bag I curated. So this little, um, yeah, super cute. So this, yeah, this little uh, cactus club bag that I found, it was just loose. I found it when I found this at the bus stop and kept everything separate. This is a cashmere sweater from uh, J. Crew. It's J. Crew Mercantile. That is so cute. Be really cute with the chaps. Well, yeah, there's tons of ideas. Anyway, today's a very good find. These are incredible. So <coughs> I don't know what's in here. Um, these are size 30. They're made in the U.S. They're wool. Uh, they're W.A.H. Maker Frontier Clothing. Look at these. I'm definitely wearing these this week at uh, LaSalle. They have this little... Oh, they actually have a button fly. That and the cardigan. Ooh, that would be a nice outfit. Let's keep going here. Oh my, this is incredible. Addie P, 
It's like a, I don't even know. I could throw this on over that Calvin Klein dress. Nice. This is so fun. Woo. So fun. Love it. Everything smells really good too. This is incredible. I love it. This is Forever 21. Those poor sods aren't around anymore. I'm definitely keeping this. That's going to be so fun to wear. This stuff, like I said, it was all in other bags and I just sort of moved it all into uh, this Walmart bag, put it on my shoulder and carried it home. These are kind of fun. Black denim, elastic waist though. We'll have to see what they feel like. They have pockets. They're really nice. Oh, it's starting to rain too, so I'm really glad that I found this. Oh, this is a dress, I guess. Dean? DM it's called. Um, yeah, I don't know how it goes. Oh, I think that just, I don't know. This video is gonna be pretty long with me trying to figure this out. So, oh, there it is, okay. So yeah, just sort of everything kind of just hangs down. That is so cute. Definitely wearing that this week. Get a whole new wardrobe before I go and spend these days at LaSalle shooting. Isn't that cute? Ooh. Uh, what is this? <gasps> these are glasses. Oh my gosh. Sunglasses. They're called kits. The only way I've been wearing them, and this is gonna be such a mom move, there's a tag in here, is over my glasses. <laughs> Which looks hilarious. But those are fun. Little, like, yeah. Like, look at that. Perfect. I'm fascinated with this and how this works. I don't know, we're gonna see, we're gonna figure it out because I think that's gonna be really fun to wear. 100% uh, cotton. Yeah. Awesome. More fun, oh, look at this! Oh my God, I just found a whole new wardrobe. Uh, I think these are pajama pants, but I would definitely wear these as regular pants. Oh, just a burgundy cotton shirt. Maybe even to wear with those striped pants. Sweater, distressed, it's ripped to shizzle. Top man, oh yes, nice, look at that, it's so fun. I'm sorry, I'm raising my voice because I'm very excited. <gasps> what is this? Oh, 10 times. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. Love it. Ten times. Where, oh, and there's a bikini in here from Aerie. And look at this. It's like a little embellishment for a skirt. Or like a belt or something. It's really fun. See that? It's really dark. It's getting, uh, it's like only like three or four o'clock. But yeah, so this bikini from Aerie. I really like it. Uh, the top is a large, which I usually take a large. And then the bottom is also a large, but I think that's gonna be way too big. But yeah, it's decent too. It's like barely worn. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. These are perfect for work. Not donating a lot of this stuff. We're gonna keep it. Oh, look at this! Oh, this is so fun. These are shorts. Oh no. I think it's a skirt. That's way too small for me though, but I can use it on a shoot. Oh, look at this t shirt. Oh yeah! Oh, this is the best. I love it when I find stuff that's like, look at that. Who is that? I don't even know. So good. It's a tank, but oh, wear it under a blazer. So fun. Oh, another fun t shirt. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's from that same brand. That one earlier that was 
God is an excuse. There's suspenders. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, you guys, you're getting my excitement. This is awesome. This, oh yeah. Love it. Flannel, so fun. <gasps> Panties. These are nice. These are from Simmons. Oh, nice, nice. Black, no one sees black. <gasps> suspenders like official suspenders that have like they need the buttons they might be for these pants i don't know we'll see and then last but not least oh just a plain black shirt i'm pretty sure this is babaton the tag is ripped out though <laughs> that's it what a haul so here we are Sunday, just before laundry. And uh, what I will do now is try things on, make sure things fit, and then I will swap out things that I don't need. So in here, I will recreate another bag for Gloria. So I try to bring things, one thing in, one thing out. That's my rule. So if I take a whole bunch of this stuff in, I gotta take a whole bunch of stuff out. So we're not becoming hoarders or stockpiling. And this video is very long. I'm sorry about that. I hope you're having an awesome Sunday. I hope it isn't raining like cats and dogs wherever you are. And I hope you did something fun today. Cheers.